your boy be ready to go and that's right i'm back with another video back with another video let's get it it's your boy i ain't quitting i told y'all i wasn't giving up so now i'm following through a lot of shit changed in the past couple weeks or months that's why i've been slower with doing videos and uploading i haven't uploaded in about a month and a half maybe two months but this video is me explaining why things had slowed down but they didn't slow down for good because starting with this video starting today i'm gonna be posting back on my regular schedule and try to get like two or three videos a week and then try to make it to at least one video a day every single day but i'm gonna start off going back into the groove getting back into this motion and bringing y'all more amazing content like my last video y'all really like that so i'm gonna try to do more experimental videos and doing like crazy stunts and doing shit like that because i like doing it it's fun for me but also y'all seem to really enjoy that type of content so that's what i'm gonna bring y'all you know this is for y'all this ain't about well it's about me because it's what i love to do but it's also about y'all because y'all are the ones that are gonna help me get to where I want to be as far as with this YouTube stuff, so. Wow, this house right here is amazing. I wonder who lives there. Dang, that's a big ass house. I've never seen a house like this in my life. Where is it? It's actually the house we're going to. So, those of y'all that's still hanging on with me, I appreciate y'all, y'all the real goats, y'all the real fans. I salute y'all. Probably be doing giveaways soon, so stay tuned. And yeah, let me just jump right into this video because this ain't gonna be a long video. It's just me explaining what's, what I've been up to in the past couple of months. So I'm gonna start with me switching jobs. So if y'all don't know, I used to work at the Crab Crib. I probably put a picture or whatever of the store up in the video. That's a large crab. These are the cooked crabs. And those are the wild crabs. And over here, you got the biggest crab I've seen since I started working here. See, he almost grabbed me. Yeah. I used to work at the crab crib. The owner of the crab crib, her name was Jackie, she had shut down the crab house. That she had shut down the crab house because too much crazy stuff was going on. It was girls freaking out, trying to hurt themselves and injure themselves. We had the restrainer. She was trying to bash her head into a wall. <laughs> See how, how quick your reflexes are. You ready? You gonna punch it? And we had to like basically hold her down so she wouldn't hurt herself. And she had scraped her knuckles up. It it got bad. The boss, she got up there. She's she's about around 40, 50 years old. She's getting tired of running a business. She want to relax, so she decided to sell her business. So by her doing that, everybody that worked there had to go find a job, including myself. So I found I started working at UPS which was a terrible idea because I ended up messing my back up, hopefully not permanently, but I'm going to explain how. So when I first started working at UPS, I was, I'm a, I was a truck loader. I was loading those big, long trucks you see that go across state. I was a loader for one of them, which helped because it was a lot of exercise, but after a while, they moved me to a more aggressive section where boxes come through like we was loading at least 1500 boxes a night which is a lot of boxes and some of those boxes were light some of those boxes were heavy some of those boxes were small but were really heavy and some of those boxes were big but were really light some of the boxes were big and also really heavy so
That being said, we had to, and we have to not just load them. We have to load at, with speed. Like they want you to be fast with it. And me being my size, I can't. I don't know if y'all can tell how big I am from the video, but I'm not a big person. I'm about 130 pounds, if that. You know, I'm skinny. So yeah, but I like to be. I, I like to be a man. I don't want to ask nobody for no help. I don't want to seem like. I'm too wimpy or too small, cause I'm skinny, but I'm strong and shit. Like, I'm, yeah, muscle. <laughs> so, I'm lifting these heavy boxes called E-Regs. E-Reg is short for irregular, meaning a, a regular box. The boxes, they come at the end of the night, like towards the end of the shift, and they were heavy, like at least 100 pounds and up. So anything under 100 pounds, regular box, anything heavy as shit, irregular box. They wanted us to not only load them on the truck, but we would have boxes already loaded on the truck, so we would have to find a way to fit the big boxes into the truck. And the only way to fit it is to put it on top of the other boxes. Meaning, I, myself, had to lift these heavy boxes on top of other boxes off the ground. Now, I managed to do it after a while. You know, you start doing something physical, you get more used to it. But the problem was, I had, and I've only, I've been there probably like a month. And I injured my back because I was trying to lift the E-Ray and it got caught on like a metal thing. I can't really explain it, but just know I was trying to lift this box and the box got stuck. So when I tried to get it unstuck, I pulled it and yanked it. But when I did that, it made me like flop backwards. And I went, when I went backwards, my spine hit the corner of a wall that was metal. Like the truck, the corner of the wall where the truck backs in so we can load them. It's metal right there and it's sharp and it hit me right in my spine. I thought I was going to be, you know, really seriously injured, but it only lasted for like maybe two, three nights. They let me take time off, put ice on it, went home, got some rest. And that was that. Then after a while, I started noticing I was having like back pains. Like if I sat down. I was fine, but if I stayed sitting down for too long, my back would be hurting. And I know that's not normal because you don't just, your back doesn't just hurt from sitting down. So I had a feeling I messed up my, either my tailbone or just my spine in general. And that ain't good because I need to walk. I'm 21 years old, I'm young, I got shit to do. <laughs> I can't just be riding around in nobody wheelchair, you know. None of that. Boom. I messed my back up, I started noticing the pain, but I, I'm like, you know, I ain't, I ain't no bitch, so I'm gonna work through it. So I started still working, put up, I got a, uh, I had got a back brace, like when you strap around, I got one of them, but I wasn't wearing it at first, because I'm like, my back don't really hurt that much, I don't really need it. Second injury, I don't know what happened, I don't know, well, it was probably my fault for not wearing the back brace, but still working at UPS and I lay down one night I got off of work I was working overnight by the way I was working from 10 30 at night to about 3 3 30 sometimes 2 o'clock so I was I was laying down after I got off of work but I had to use the bathroom so I got back up to use the bathroom and when I got up I felt just this pain going through my my lower back and it felt like I couldn't move that muscle or any back muscle or I would just fall out into the floor. So after I used the bathroom and came lay back down, the next day I woke up, it did not get any better. Like I put ice on it, I did everything I could. I couldn't get out of bed. So I thought, you know, this is starting to become too much. Like I, I couldn't, I didn't want to do any permanent damage, but I also didn't want to just quit my job. So somebody tells me that the crab crib is opening back up and I'm already thinking to myself, I'm not going back to that crab house. Even though I was making more there. See, the problem is UPS was paying good, but 
they wasn't giving you no hours. Like, they would give you 14, 15 hours an hour and only give you, like, five hours a day. It wasn't cutting. So I'm like, we'll see if the crab rib will pay me more than I was getting paid before, and maybe I'll consider coming back. But then I find out, the, it's, it's not just reopened, it's a whole new owner. So the people that bought it was, you know, a new whole family. It's like three different bosses. And I'm like negotiating with them, seeing what they do. I go for the interview, you know, do that. So now I'm working two jobs. Morning time from 10 to about 7.30. 10 in the morning, about 7.30 at night, I was working crab crib. And then from 10.30 at night to about 3, 4, 3 in the morning, I was working UPS. That equals... Money. No time to do videos. I was working every day, all day. Every night, all night. Exhausted. Ain't even a word for it. Like, I... I got to the point where when it finally was my day off, I'm like, all right, I can do some videos. But that whole day, I just felt exhausted. Like, it was more than exhaustion, though, because it wasn't just my body was tired. It was my mind was exhausted. Like, I couldn't even think straight. I could barely, like, move regular. I was, you know, stumbling. I just didn't feel right. So, like, maybe this, maybe I'm just pushing myself too hard. But I had made a promise to myself that I wouldn't work two jobs unless I could last a whole year. That ain't happened. <laughs> I tried, like, I didn't, it's not like the first little thing that happened and I'm like, nah, fuck this, I can't work. It's like, I really tried to do it, but the injuries plus the exhaustion, the work hours, plus I wanted to do my YouTube, I was just like, this is starting to be too much. The money was cool, but honestly, UPS... It, it wasn't cutting it. So I, what I had ended up doing was cutting UPS off recently. And now I just work back at the crab place. Cause they was honestly paying more than UPS. So I'm like, might as well just stay there and cut the UPS off before I injure myself. And then I'm trying to do YouTube videos in a wheelchair. I, Nah, that ain't going, that ain't, nah. You, you see this? You see how handsome I am? I can't be in nobody wheelchair. I can't be walking around with some metal shit strapped to my back. Oh, because of UPS. It, nah, it wasn't cutting. It. So, boom. Cut UPS. Now I work at Crab Place. Paying real good. I'm doing good. I'm doing better. My back's feeling better. So, now... I'm back, and I got big plans for YouTube, and I can't wait to show y'all what I got planned. I can't wait to start making better content. I'm getting, I'm finally, as soon as when I stopped doing YouTube was around the same time I started getting the hang of it. Like, the editing as far as, you know, how I edit my videos, the things I was doing, the quality, I just got a camera, everything is starting to pick up. I almost hit 2,000 subscribers. 2,000 subscribers right now, I think I'm at 1,930. 2,000 subscribers coming real soon. Bunch of videos coming real soon. So yeah, that's just giving y'all a little update on everything that's been going on. It's been a lot. But I'm back at it. Real winners don't quit and I will never, ever give up. This YouTube, I can't lie, it's become a dream. Like when I first started, it was more on the, I want to do this to make money. But then like, you have to realize you can't just jump into YouTube or anything for that matter just for the money. You got to actually have a passion to keep you going and driving and doing it until you get to that point. Because if you don't love the process of getting there, you're going to quit halfway through. You got you to gotta love the process of getting there and not get too impatient, not get too, you know, discouraged or whatever the case may be because if you love the process you're gonna follow through regardless you don't care how you feel if you wake up not feeling like it that day do it anyway that's how you that's how you 
That's how you do it. You train your mind that your mind isn't in control. Well, your body. I'm sorry, not your mind. Your body's in control. If you let your body control your thoughts and how you feel, control what you want to do, you're going to procrastinate. And I was going through that with, well, not really procrastination because I was working two jobs. But it was that cycle of I want to do a video, but I'm tired, I'm exhausted. This, that, I got to wake up early and I got to work. But now I got the time, so whether I feel like it or not, I have no excuse not to get off my ass and do this. So now here I am. So that was the update. You know, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hope y'all didn't, you know, get discouraged or think that I was going just drop the whole YouTube thing and not come back. I made it too far. I made it way too far. I remember when I first started and I was trying to get my first 50 subscribers. I remember when I was trying to get my first 100 subscribers. Now I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers. That's that's a big accomplishment. So that's pretty much it. If y'all like this video, give it a thumbs up. If y'all, you know, rocking with me, let me know you rocking with me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can get notified when you get some of these amazing videos that are about to come. And see, see what we got in store for y'all. I got something big in store for y'all. Trust me. But I'm your boy B-Rad, the GOAT. Y'all part of the GOAT gang. If you ain't already part of the GOAT gang, I'm B-Rad, the GOAT. I just said that, but whatever. It's whatever. Do what you do. I'm out. Peace.